Hey guys, welcome back to the NewMet YouTube channel. Today we are looking at a mod on SnowRunner. This is the Dodge Ram truck from John John Hot Rod. Now, previously he had done a Mega Cat, which was really long and huge, and, and you can see those in my past videos. But this is more in touch with real life, the actual truck. So let's get into the garage and look at this new mod from John John Hot Rod. Now, he's got three variants of this. He's got the dually, the standard, and the super single, which is a single wheel with an extended rear fender on it. Very cool. And if you haven't noticed, we have a damn emergency truck. I've been waiting for this for so long. Uh, the other thing to know about John John Hot Rod, if I haven't explained it already, is that he does have different packs. The base truck, and then an expansion pack, and on this one, you have the sticker pack. So that's why you're seeing a light bars and bumpers and a winch on that middle truck there, which we don't have available as of the date of the filming in this video. So I don't have those expansion things. I just have the base truck. And even with just the base truck, you are covered. And the reason why he does that is for memory space reasons. So let's look at the customization. Now with all John John Hot Rods, you have a really great wide range of different engines. You have ones for towing, for hauling, for rock crawling. And if you want to go on Baja races, you can do that as well. And the same thing with the gearboxes, they coordinate with the engines to do different things. Usually I do maybe the tow haul with a four speed. Really great here to have all this kind of variation. The suspension goes along with those. And as you can see, the naming scheme is carried throughout. So you can get a trail runner engine, a trail runner gearbox, and a trail runner suspension if you want. Very nice when you're trying to combine things to make a particular type of vehicle. Uh, the other thing that I noticed on this mod, which I really like, is that the suspension and tire choice don't lock you out, meaning that you can get a shorter suspension and a bigger tire if you want to fill out the wheel well. Most other mods and the stock truck lock you out. You want a bigger tire, you have to use the higher suspension, but this, you get to have some variety. Now let's look at the tires. Again, a lot of choices for tires here. And as you can see, when I scroll through here, the little specs change mud eight you know so you can really get whatever tire that you want now as I said when we go into customization there isn't a lot here because we don't have the expansion pack mod on here so there's no real anything in here in the bumpers or the rear bumpers the interior does come with the radar which is good for scouting new maps the bed just really has a tonneau cover off-road accessories you do get the light bar you get rock sliders and you get a snorkel and the other thing that John John Hot Rod does is do the invisible thing and I like this because if you want to look at the truck, but you want to have the function of a snorkel, but you don't want to be looking at it, you can use this invisible one. Tow haul, you can put some weight on the front end, which is kind of cool. And you can uh, do this kind of step thing. So this is real realistic to, to, you know, you have a lifted truck, but you have the uh, hitch really low. So that's very cool. Then you can do coil over if you want. You can do leaf springs, the differential covers, and you have a choice of, if you want a lot of diesel smoke, you can have that if you want. Now, one of the things that I hate about Snow Runner is that if you want repair supplies, you want extra fuel, you have to put this big ugly roof rack with a bunch of boxes on the top of your truck. How about we just have that stuff, but have it be invisible? Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you, asshole. Wouldn't that be a great idea? And John John Hot Rod does that. So you can have your max goodies here and you can have your max repair parts, spare wheels and fuel tank. Rims on the base uh, pack here, you do have some choice, which is nice uh, to have on the base one and you can just do the stock truck. And the paint, you have a couple of choices in here. You get a nice sticker if you want to be part of the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, whatever that is, and the emergency truck. Oh, wow. I have bitched about this for so long in SnowRunner and even in the mods. There's no emergency vehicles in the damn game. If you've looked at my other videos, you've noticed I had to use police cars from Great Britain. But this is great. Not only do you get this nice emergency livery, you get that light bar as you saw. Now the other paint that you have, you have a bunch of gloss paint here. And then you can get down here into the monochromatic, which will put the paint on the grill and the bumper as you can see and the other choice down here is the matte finish you can get a matte finish if i can get down there there we go the matte finish all right we'll change 
Here we are outside the garage. I really like this. I like my uh, dually for my ranch with my chrome rims. I really like that. As I said, I love my emergency vehicle. And, uh, and I love my off-roader here. Let's check out the interior in here. Look at this. This, this actual backup camera works. And, but look at the detail in here. This really looks like a limited Ram truck. Let's get on the road. Let's get on the test track. Now, all of these have active suspension. If you don't know what active suspension, it does raise it up if you're really stuck. But this one has pretty high suspension by default. We can also look at the hood. Under the hood, you've got quite a detail in the engine there. That's cool. And you also have the tailgate will open as well. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Boom. Boom. Isn't that cool? Let's take the handbrake off, turn on the whole wheel drive and locker. And let's take this guy out for a spin. Now I've got the rock crawling, the trail crawl suspension on here. Very soft, flexible, rock crawling kind of uh, suspension. Very nice. Really enjoy it. And, uh, you know, his, his previous makeup cab uh, mod was fun and everything, but you know, it was a, it was it was over the top. It was over the top on purpose. He was just trying to make a really crazy Ram truck mod, and that's what he did. But this is more realistic, and but you can get a high suspension on it and get higher tire bigger tires on it, so I really appreciate this, but, uh, and I can't tell you how much, you know, especially when you're on console, you do have a limited memory space as far as downloading mods, so to split up the packs like he does is probably a good idea. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm perfectly content with my base truck here. Um, yes, I would like to have fancy bumpers and winches and everything. And a gun rack. I need my gun rack. I mean, I feel naked without my gun rack. But I've got other mods taking up space. But, uh, but what a surprise. He's handling this test course next to the garage with flying colors. Very cool. I really love these uh, mods for John John Hot Rod. And you will be seeing this, and you know, I mean, the buzz on the street is there's a new season in SnowRunner in Canada. Did you guys hear about it? Season 9! So we'll be using this truck to scout it out. Now, which of the three do you think I will be using to use as a scout? Please leave your answer. In the comments, which one will I pick out of the three that I've done for scouting season nine? Here we are. I love this. Look at the articulation. Bam! There's the screenshot right there. Bam! And here we are at my pretty home. The dog parking. Gonna take him for a walk, I think. But again, thanks, guys. As always. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support. Hit a like on the video if you can. And I will see you in the next one. The next one will be checking out Season 9 in Canada. Oh, I can't wait. Take it easy, guys.